Now in this session, we're going to look at some of the system setting you can make adjustment to before we start a project file. So from the file pull down tab, select options. It'll bring you the option dialog box and the top category is general. Now notification, save reminder interval. This is to for the system to remind you how often you should save your work in the file you have opened. So you can use a drop down, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, two hours, four hours of no reminder. All right, this is not a good uh, recommendation because we should try to uh, save our file on a regular basis. That way we won't lose any work in case something happened to your system and it crashed, then you may lose some of the work that you have created. Now, notification for synchronized with central remainder interval. Now this is when you're working in a team environment and you have to save your work before you can synchronize uh, with the central file. Basically, any work you created in your local file need to be saved and then you have to run the synchronization before other team member can see the work you have created or the, the work you have changed or how the models change based on your actions. So this is very important. So my recommendation is probably at least 15 to 30 minutes and try not to do more than 30 minutes. And also sometimes when you're doing a very large scale project, the synchronization can take uh, up to several minutes. So you don't want to do too frequently and you also don't want to do it infrequently enough that uh, you might have a potential of system crash and you lose your work and also uh, you keep all your work up to date on a central file so other team member can see what you're doing and can take advantage of the work you completed in your project file. Now username, this is the field that you log in with your name. And then if you take possession of any item in your in the central file, then other team member can see who has possession of these items. So this is name, this is the name or the user ID that will appear inside those uh, information. So we will be going over the uh, work sharing process in a team environment in a more advanced lessons. Now journal file cleanup. Um, journal file basically is, um, is, is the action, uh, is a file to capture all the action you did inside a project file while you're editing the file. So in case uh, there are crashes and some other issue with your file, then this will be a good lead for doing investigation to see what happened uh, in the project file. And usually it's safe inside a hidden folder in the system, and it could take up uh, quite a bit of room if you let it accumulate. So it's best to keep this to a uh, minimum. Uh, so in this case, if you say when number of journal files exceeded five or four, and you can, or six, depending on the size of the project you're working on, and it's probably a good idea to delete journal file older than seven days. Uh, it's not likely that you would need to recover journal file more than seven days old. So this is basically in the system setting. So you should talk to your uh, CAD manager or your IT person how you want to uh, address these items. Now, the other thing in here is work sharing update frequency. Uh, so electronically, the file will actually go in the background and check for updates for you and remind you when you should update. And uh, the higher frequency this is being done, the more resource the program is going to draw. So you may not want to do that every five seconds. You might want to be do it less frequently. And you might want to be every 15 seconds or every minutes or and so on. So depending on the size of the file, because this can take up quite a bit of resources in your Revit session. Now, the other thing, this is an important item you should address in the general tab. Now, view options, coordinations, default view discipline coordinations. Now, when you create a new view in your project file, this is the discipline you will assign to that view. Now, since we're doing architectural modeling, so we should change this to architectural. Now, I'm going to leave this in the coordination uh, setting and do a demonstration and show you what happens. So if I leave this in coordination, I select OK, and I go to File and then Start New Project. And I use my new template file I just created. Now, if I go to the self-elevation, 
and I create a new level. I'm going to right mouse, create similar, but I'm not going to create any view based on this level. I'm just going to, let's say it's four meter. It's going to be level three, but I don't have any plan created for level three yet. So if I go to view and from plan view, create new level, floor plan, and the only one that hasn't have any plan level created is level three, I'm going to select okay. So you create a new plan, floor plan based on level three. Now, if I look at the property of this level three, the discipline is coordination. And we should change that to architectural instead of coordinations. So this is what happens if you don't change the options in a general category to coordination to architectural setting.